the review for the D Arts Mega Man X or Rockman X Zero. This is the first version Zero. This is the uh, Zero with the round shoulders uh, from Rockman X One. Um, I know some people wanted the square shoulders. We'll probably get that later on down the line. Since we are, like, if you look at the back of the package, uh, the next one out is the full armor zero, as opposed to the uh, to the regular zero. Um, now the packaging on this one is a little bit thicker than the than the standard zero, uh, mostly because you got to fit his pony. They have to make a special indentation for his ponytail on the back, so it's it's a little thicker. Uh, as you saw in the opening credits, the packaging is very similar. It's got the same X just in silver with the D arts and the Rockman X logo down here on the side, um, just to compare those two. Um, packaging is very much the same. It's just a tray here. You've got the little silver foil thing, a little instructions on how to change out the various pieces in a baggie there in the back of the foil, and then the standard plastic tray with the extra arm pieces and cannon pieces and faces and blast. Um, really, I, I love... Japanese collector packaging because it's so easy to get figures in and out. If you want to put it back, you can take them out and you don't really have to damage the packaging to, to mess with your figures. So here's Zero, um, as he is. Let me get this down here a little bit. Um, and, he, and he has all the posability you'd expect. Um, some of the pieces like to pop off a little easily uh, just due to the fact that uh, they're designed to do that. But you've got some nice range of motion in the feet. Um, and the knees, I'm um, just, just, like you said, if you've seen my Mega Man review, uh, there's a lot of, you get a lot of action out of these guys, uh, which is cool. The fist can rotate in there. Um, even his ponytail is on a, you can rotate it from side to side, um, and it's on a little, you can see how it lifts up and down as his head moves around as well. So you got a lot of, a lot of options there with Zero. Um, you can swap out the tip of his gun. This one has a little jewel in it uh, to be a solid gun. Uh, you can type, you can swap it out with this tip, uh, just like you could on Mega Man. And now it's got a hole in it that you can use to plug in the uh, plug in a blast effect. And um, that's cool. Um, and he can also use the various blast effects that came with uh, came with Mega Man as well. Uh, actually, this one looks like it may be Mega Man's gun is a little thinner, so this one doesn't work unless you take that off. But you can actually have him do a regular pellet fire as well. And like I said, here's pieces popping off. Um, they just plug right back on. Uh, the pieces are all interchangeable between the figures. And apparently, when the full armor Zero comes out, some of those parts you'd swap those parts onto your regular Zero as well. Um, he does also come with. Uh, Come here, you. Uh, an extra, you can swap out the, the cannon on this arm for uh, a regular forearm. And then he does come with a couple of fists, some thumbs up. He comes up with some fists, some thumbs up, some regular fists, just like this one, uh, thumbs up hand, and then a uh, two sets of open hands so he can kind of support his gun no matter which side of the, which arm you've got that on. We'll just use the, the other fist for right now, but so you can plug him in. Uh, just like on Mega Man, you can give him you can give him two fists uh, instead of his Buster Cannon. But really, what's cool? What's, nothing's as cool as the Buster Cannon. So let's get him all bustered up. Get his little shiny jewel back there, just like that. Um, and again, he's got torso posing. He's got some nice little green jewels there on his chest. Um, I say jewel, you know, they're just clear plastic, but, you know, shiny bits. Uh, so, yeah, he's got the, the Sigma logo there. Uh, I guess, it, is, it, is that Sigma? It's just a Z. Um, I usually associate that with a Sigma logo. That's very similar to the Sigma logo, if nothing else. Um, he does have a couple of different faces. Um, he's got a st stoic face, uh... Looking to the side, and he's got a slightly annoyed face, a looking to the side, and slightly annoyed face, and then his really annoyed face. Um, so, there, so there's that. Um, and here he is with with Mega Man. I'm a little bit taller. They look really good together. Um, I'm really looking forward to the full armor of Mega Man. And you can, if you want, you can treat it uh, 
Just like the video game, when X gives Mega Man his buster, you can, if you want, swap Zero's buster onto Mega Man. So that's cool. But yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm really digging the Rockman D-Arts line. Um, I'm looking forward to the full armor Mega Man. I hope, I hope we get a Sigma out of it. Um, I think that would be awesome. Um, a Sigma and um, a later version Zero with the square shoulders. Um, I'd like to see, and this was this would get ridiculously insane. Um, I'd like to see the power up tube. No, this wouldn't be a dude. I would like to see the power up tube that they uh, showed off at uh, one of the conventions last year. I'd also really like to see maybe uh, maybe some. Uh, some various colored Mega Mans to you know to, ver to represent the various I'm powered up with, even just armor sets. You know, just swap out his arms and legs just to give him the uh, the powers and colors of the of the people he defeated. Although I think you'd probably have to do completely release Mega Man figures, and uh, that could get pricey and expensive. And and I don't think that they'll probably ever release a full line of here he is in all the various uh, power up colors. Um, but I think that'd be neat. Um, but as it is, I'll be. I'm happy with the full armor version that's coming. I love the regular version, and and the zero is actually pretty nice too. I don't know if I'm quite in love with it yet. It's a really nice figure, but I haven't had it as long. I've only had it today, um, so I haven't had it quite as long as the Mega Man to really get to it. But I mean, the Rockman X line from D Arts is just really, really great, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, if you have the means and you're into Rockman or Mega Man, however you want to call him, uh, by all means, pick these up because. Uh, they're great. They're really, really, they're really, really great little figures, and and a lot more poseable than a lot of the stuff you get nowadays. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, Rockman D Arts Zero first version. <laughs>